Char casually entered Hart's room and invited him to play. Hart asked her to knock on the door next time she wanted to come in. Char happily agreed and hugged her older brother. Since that day, Charlotte played in Hart's room every day. Hart didn't mind at all. In fact, he felt comforted by being able to caress Char, who was like a small animal. Char was curious about the visible projection in Hart's room. Hart explained that it was magic for surveillance. Char immediately referred to it as ancient magic because a while ago Hart mentioned that he was researching ancient magic in his room. Hart pretended to say that this magic was a bit troublesome because there was no documentation on ancient magic. However, to his surprise, Char said that there was actually documentation. She had seen it in the castle library. When they arrived at the library, Hart was very impressed with the number of books there, especially since it was his first time coming here. After that, Char fetched a book about ancient magic that she had seen. In one of the books, it was explained that ancient magic was non-elemental magic. Modern magic complements it by adding four elements. Hart suspected that perhaps his protective magic had similarities to ancient magic. Although there were many explanations about ancient magic, according to Char, this book was the most interesting among all. Hart didn't expect that Char read this book, even though there were many difficult vocabulary words in it. Apparently, she read it with the help of her mother and Flay. Suddenly, Char sat on Hart's lap. She said that her mother and Flay also held her while reading the book. When reading the book more deeply, she felt that the development of the story was similar to an anime. Char became curious about the anime that her brother mentioned. Hart found it difficult to explain all the details, but in essence, anime is a moving picture even with sound. Thanks to Hart's explanation, Char became interested in anime and wanted to watch it, too. Honestly, Hart also wanted to see it, but he didn't know how. However, when he saw Char so excited, he tried to find a way for them to watch anime. Two weeks later, the plan succeeded. The explanation was too complicated, but the important thing was that Hart could now access modern Japanese internet connection. Even the streaming subscription he bought before was still active. Hart just needed to create a special account for children so that Char could watch. After that, Char looked at the list of available anime and immediately became interested in an anime titled Emotional. From the thumbnail, the anime depicted a cute magical girl. As the anime played, Char was truly captivated by the moving and sound-filled images. However, Char encountered one problem. She couldn't understand the character's speech. Well, it was understandable because it was in Japanese. Char pleaded to be taught the Japanese language. Hart felt that it would be difficult, but he believed that Char had good absorption abilities since she was only five years old. And indeed, Char quickly mastered hiragana and katakana within two hours. She even started learning kanji for elementary school level and typed them into the search engine. Two weeks later, as usual, Char entered Hart's room. This time, she wanted to watch the continuation of Tamazong. Char loved the story. The zombies were taking over Saitama City, and the justice heroes would protect the citizens. For the past two weeks, Char had been learning Japanese from anime and had grasped the basics. It was truly amazing, but Hart couldn't let her sister watch anime all the time. Just when Char wanted to watch the next episode, Hart advised her that binge-watching an entire season was not good. From now on, Hart limited Char to only watch three hours a day. Char was naturally disappointed. Despite that, Hart had to remain firm. He then invited Char to go out for dinner. During dinner, Char appeared sleepy and didn't eat her food at all. Gordo became curious because lately Char had been spending a lot of time with Hart. Char suddenly snapped out of her drowsiness and answered that they were studying ancient magic. After finishing dinner, Char continued to follow Hart, hoping to be allowed to watch anime. However, Hart still didn't give in and told her to take a bath and go to bed immediately. While Hart was taking a bath, Char actually entered the bathing area as well. Since she couldn't watch anime, Char had no choice but to go to sleep. Either way, Char had already told her mother that she would be taking a bath with her brother. Hart didn't mind because Char was still a young child, but deep down he still felt like a criminal. Somehow, Char kept staring at Hart's body. It turned out she was curious about the mark on Hart's left chest. Char believed that it was the symbol of a justice hero. 
Hart simply pretended to confirm her statement, attributing it to her excessive anime watching. Afterward, they went to sleep and separated from each other. Despite the separation, Char suddenly ended up sleeping next to Hart. It seemed that Natalia had escorted Char as per her request, and she was even peeking from outside. She said her dream would come true by witnessing the closeness between Hart and Char. The next day, Gordo and his troops were about to go out to eliminate the bandits. Char appeared worried seeing her father's departure. She still seemed concerned when in Hart's room. However, Hart assured her that her father would be fine because these bandits were just ordinary ones. Lately, many ordinary people had turned into bandits due to power struggles within the country. Char wondered if there was no way for everyone to live happily. Hart explained that it was very difficult, even though everyone wished for it. Char then asked if her brother couldn't solve this problem. According to Char, Hart's power existed to handle such matters. It was unclear from which anime Char learned that sentence. Hart couldn't bear to see his little sister pleading with such adorable and pitiful eyes. It didn't stop there. Char wanted to see Hart transform before fighting. Reluctantly, Hart complied with her request. He posed as he did in the anime and changed his appearance. Hart wore all black clothing, with a cloak and helmet to conceal his identity. He also modified his voice so that he wouldn't be recognized by others. After that, Hart created a projection so that Char could watch him in action. Moreover, Hart couldn't take Char directly to the scene. After some time, Hart finally found the bandits. He blocked off the cave where they were hiding with protective magic. Upon arriving, Hart released his protective magic. Although embarrassed, Hart posed first before disposing of the bandits. When he had defeated all of them, Gordo and his troops arrived. Gordo asked who the person was that had defeated the bandits. Hart was puzzled about how to respond and accidentally blurted out Midonai. Still no one. Gordo then asked if this Midonai was the one who had saved his wife and child. Hart pretended not to remember the incident, but his goal was clear, to uphold justice. Of course, Hart felt extremely embarrassed when he said. He immediately flew away from them. When he arrived back in his room, Hart felt like he wanted to die from embarrassment. Because Char wanted to see Hart's actions again, he eventually gave in and continued to do it repeatedly. In fact, he now earned the nickname Black Knight. A few days later, Hart appeared very happy in his room. It turns out he had successfully perfected his clone. Since he was shown references to ancient magic, Hart had been trying to perfect his clone using that information. The clone resembled him so much that Hart himself felt annoyed. With this, his desire to seclude himself in his room was finally realized. Unbeknownst to Hart, Char had actually slept in his room overnight. And when Char woke up, she was clearly confused to see two of her brother. When Flay asked Hart to come out and greet the guests, Hart instructed his clone to go instead. However, because their personalities were too similar, the clone was also too lazy to leave. Guests who came to their residence were Princess Marianne and Prince Lyos. They claimed to be heirs to the throne, which possibly made them Hart siblings. Nevertheless, Prince Lyos had a haughty demeanor. Princess Marianne continued to apologize for Lyos' behavior. Hart himself was also surprised by his actions. Lyos noticed that Hart was glaring at him. He had heard rumors that Hart was a level 2 child adopted from an orphanage. Lyos challenged Hart to a duel to teach him proper etiquette towards the royal family. The duel was actually carried out. Since Lyos seemed very confident, Hart wanted to see his level. Lyos' current level was 9 and could reach a maximum level of 40. At the same time, he also wanted to see Gordo and Marianne's levels. Gordo had reached level 32 while Marianne was at level 14 and could reach a maximum level of 33. When Lyos swung his sword, Hart easily dodged it. However, Lyos protested because he couldn't discipline Hart if he kept dodging. Hart followed the course of the game. He covered his body with protective magic and pretended to be in pain when attacked. Lyos felt superior and pretended to tell Hart to counterattack. Since he was allowed, Hart quickly moved behind Lyos and knocked him down. Marianne, who witnessed it, couldn't believe that Hart was only level 2. Gordo himself didn't know. Even Hart himself said he didn't know how it was possible. Unable to accept it, 
Lyos cast a fireball towards Hart. However, Hart was able to handle it with his protective magic. From the perspective of others, it appeared as though Lyos' magic was absorbed by something. Lyos tried to cast it again multiple times, but the result remained the same. Afterward, Hart showed all the absorbed flames forming a tremendous blaze. Lyos immediately gave up upon seeing it. Then, Marion apologized for her brother's behavior. She also wanted to confirm if Hart was truly level 2. She just found out that the rumors about him being level 2 had spread throughout the town. She suspected that their biological parents were investigating him. However, Hart didn't believe they were the ones behind it. Besides, his parents had discarded him so easily.